Hello YouTube. Here we are on my uh, laptop. And this video is especially for iPhone 3GS owners. Now, I've been using most of the time for uh, the last load of videos I've been making. I've been filming them with my iPhone 3GS. I'm filming this one with the iPhone 3GS right now, in fact. And the reason I've been doing that is because the iPhone 3GS can be treated by the computer as a camera. So it's basically exactly the same as using other me flash memory based devices such as you know a flip or something or a creative auto and uh, except for the fact with this you can do touch to zoom on something like this like I'll touch it and boom I can make it focus better it's pretty nice and uh, I bet there's, uh, for iPhone 3GS owners, I bet there's been a time when you've taken a video in the wrong orientation. You know, you take uh, a video like this, for example. But even better, the cat video from the other day. This is how it originally came in, in the wrong orientation, as you can see. But when you saw it on YouTube, it was in the right orientation. How did I do that? I used no special software. I used QuickTime to do it. Unfortunately, you cannot use QuickTime X to do it, to my knowledge, because there is no movie properties window. Only movie inspector. You can't really do any editing with uh, QuickTime X, actually. So, with that particular video, you'd have to open it up with QuickTime 7 Pro. It has to be Pro. At least I think it has to be Pro. All right, let's move that over. Ah, this lighting is really annoying. You go to Window, and you go to Movie Properties. See, that was not in QuickTime X, which is why QuickTime, I think, is going in a bad direction. You go to Video Track, which is where, uh, yeah. Normal size. As you can see here, you have options to rotate the video, like that. Now watch the video. There you go. Now it's in the right orientation. It changed the 480 by 640 to 640 by 480 and rotated it around. Now this is the video you saw. That is a very simple way to just change your video's orientation and then, you know, go over and export it real quick and have a video that's in the proper orientation for iPhone 3GS owners. I don't know if the same problem is going to happen with the iPhone 4, but either way, um, that is just a simple solution to uh, your videos being the wrong orientation. I hope that was helpful, and uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.